Senator Feinstein, we talk about guns. It often overshadows a debate about mental illness. But in the vein of gun control in this country and presidential leadership, you heard from Mayor Bloomberg. This is how the Washington Post described the president's leadership back in July. I'm not going to take away your guns, Obama promised in September of 2008. However, he advocated closing the loophole that allows for gun purchases without background checks at gun shows and for reinstating the assault weapons ban. Obama kept his promises to gun owners, but not to gun control advocates. The president signed bills allowing guns in national parks and on Amtrak. He has not pushed for the reinstatement of the assault weapons ban, nor has he moved toward closing the gun show loophole. Has the president failed to lead on this, Senator? Well, I'm not going to comment on that. I can tell you that he is going to have a bill to lead on because it's a first day bill I'm going to introduce in the Senate and the same bill will be introduced in the House, uh, a bill uh, to ban assault weapons. Uh, it will ban the sale, the transfer, the importation, uh, and the possession, not retroactively, but prospectively. And it will ban the same for big clips, drums, or strips of more than 10 bullets. So there will be a bill. We've been working on it now for a year. We've tried to take my bill from 94 to 2004 and perfect it. We believe we have. We exempt over 900 specific weapons that will not be, uh, fall under the bill. But the purpose of this bill is to get just what Mayor Bloomberg said, weapons of war off the streets of our city. What makes you think it can pass?